Hi folks, welcome back to Stories Untold. Last time we played The House Abandoned, a text-based adventure little horror game thing, and we learned that Jennifer and maybe her family met an untimely end, perhaps due to the actions of the protagonist of that story. So, do you guys want to start the lab conduct? Let's yes. do it. All right. I wonder how different the mechanics are going to be. Because the text-based yeah. adventure is very specific. If you find yourself stuck, try to look around. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> okay, it's the same intro again. Yeah, interesting. I wonder if this was released as episodes. Uh. Or whether it was released all as a pack. I don't remember hearing about this as, like, a... Like an episodic release, but mm -hmm. I don't know. I really like this song. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> or maybe they're trying to make it just feel like a like a X Files episode or something mm -hmm. like that by having like the intro. The drill is a little ominous. It is a little ominous, right? <laughs> yeah, I don't like it, and it's orange, and it like yeah. attracts attention. Yep. No, you're mm -hmm. right. You were definitely right about that. Mm -hmm. Okay. What am I lo Oh, there's the drill. This is subject 12-19-86-23, new session entry. We have myself, Dr. Alexander Leading, assisted by Dr. Williams, and in the lab itself, our volunteer, Mr. Asian. We have artifact 23 in the chamber, recovered from crash site B. At the moment, it appears inert, showing no signs of activity. Aliens? Mr. Asian. Instructions for each stage will come through to your terminal, and we need you to follow them exactly. Mm. Now, some of this may be unfamiliar, so always reference the manual on your terminal for guides on calibration and procedure. Once you've calibrated equipment to match our brief, the green light will flash, allowing you to trigger the experiment. One last thing. Ensure that any equipment non-essential to the current experiment is switched off. You cannot proceed until your calibration matches ours. When you're ready, let's bring this back. Considering how important this sounds, risky to trust a newbie to all of this. Right? <laughs> experiment, manual, help. So E is experiment, M is manual, H is help. Experiment number one, internal analysis. Subject J1986-MEM is enclosed in solid outer layers. X-ray the artifact to determine its internal structure. Uh, electronic spectrum, uh, electromagnetic spectrum is one. Is there something I can do? One. Yes. Okay. Uh, required apparatus: camera, monitor set to X-ray, and charge CC86X-ray device. Okay. I'm not going to pretend I have any idea what we're supposed to be doing right now. I don't fully understand. I know how to do it. <laughs> yeah, do okay, it. Take it away, buddy. buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I want to hear your thoughts. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, I thought I could Supposing look around solid. and look at the other side. X-ray the artifact, so M, right? Well, M takes us to the manual, and 1 takes us to X-ray, and then Help. I don't know, R3... Uh, 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 help. Um, press the keys bracketed in the top menu to move between pages. Press, press tab oh. to roll over to the... T okay. Mm. Okay, so we want to do one. Done. Okay. Camera, monitor, set to x-ray, which we can do, and charge CC86. Oh, yeah, CC86. Ooh. Okay. Precisely. Oh, indeed. Okay, so ca ca camera... Camera? Camera? Ca camera? Camera? What is this? What is this? What is this? What is... What is... What is... Eh? Ooh, oh, got it. Okay. Your monitor? Okay. Where's the camera? Is that it up top? Uh... Oh. Maybe? Yeah, looking in. Okay. Ooh. And then CC86 in the middle, on the left, under the CC86, drill. CC86, this thing. Yeah. Set to X-ray. Is that a heart? It looks like a heart. Mm. Um, how do I? You take a picture. Okay, wait a sec. Um, 
Neither of these seems to say x-ray. Charge ready. So, wait, maybe it's that? No. Maybe it's that? No. Where we take on the camera? Like, do we just need to take a picture now? I don't know if there's another button on the camera. I'm gonna, okay, wait a second. If you tap, yeah. Okay, camera. Monitor set to x-ray. Charge. Okay, we've done this. Now what? Um. E. X-ray the artifact. Um. TV input modes. Wait, we need to set it to XR. It's not set to XR. Oh. We need. Uh, now you click that big green button. Huh? There we go. Ooh. Okay, good work. The X-ray is coming through now. There's no visible damage to the surrounding organic material, and no signs of activity either. All output is flatlined. Okay, let's begin. Okay, I mean if it's a heart in a box. Hmm. So, <laughs> pretty you know, normal. You, well, you'd hope that it was flatlined, right? Yeah. yeah. I mean. Okay. Enter. Experiment two: surface reaction attempts. Demonstrate the effects of laser light on an on the object. Try using a low-powered red laser to begin with. Okay, lasers. Two. Okay, red is six fifty in uh in M. Um, required apparatus. Laser two light generator set wavelength and monitor set to RGB. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's start with that. One more. Okay. And then... What number did it need to be set to? The laser? I thought it was 650. Bottom right? 650? So just type 650 yeah. in the bottom right? But wait, I think I need to turn this off. Okay. Because it didn't need the camera, right? Gotcha, you're just trying... And then six. I need to turn this on. Power. Wait, what's wrong with it? Okay, six, fifth, D. Sorry. I thought that was the sound of it working. Nope. That's my phone. Because I'm really professional, you guys. <laughs> um, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, okay, wait a sec. Do we need the camera? Required. Set to wa set wavelength. Monitor set to RGB. What happens then? Do we take a picture of it now? Can we? Can we make it go? Can we make it? Do we just need the camera to see it still, maybe? I guess it just didn't... It didn't ask for the camera before. And then hit yeah. the button. Ooh. We killed it. I really hope that was right. No reaction from okay. the first stage. Okay, right. Let's try a high frequency. Hmm. Okay, 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 okay. It was a heart, though. Yeah, Is it a heart? It, it looks like a heart. It a heart. Okay. Okay, First this time <laughs> we are going to use a green laser. So that is 510. Let's try this again. Clear. Do you guys know what NM stands for? No. Nanometers? Okay. Hmm. Green. No reaction? Okay, we have a oh. reaction of some sort here, a weak signal. Let's keep going. Increase again. Shock right. it till it murders us. I guess, but it's like using a laser. I'm trying yeah. to figure yeah. out what it is. They're just cutting it. Yeah. That drill noise is awful, too. Yeah, yeah. it's really, it's just mm -hmm. very off-putting. It feels like you have, like, um, it's like tinnitus. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Um, blue, 450. You should just go with the... The max. A different, yeah. <laughs> Just ruin the experiment. I feel like that's probably an option, but like... Don't want to kill it this early. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Why? Was it 450? 450, not a... 455. Uh, You're right. So it looks like you can't. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ooh. Uh-oh. 
Well, Heart starter. Would you look at that? It seems we have a pulse. Rhythm is stable. There's no activity registering in the core. It's possibly damaged. Let's push further. Okay. I mean, dude. I feel like we're not. I mean, I guess we did just bring it to life, so, like, I guess I can't critique their methods too much <laughs> yeah. yet. It's alive. Uh, experiment 03, resonant frequency. Test the acoustic resonance properties of the object. Begin with generating a 250 hertz sine wave with amplifier gain set to 1. Okay, acoustic resonance. Required apparatus, signal generator, set frequency, and wavelength, and amplifier, set gain. Okay. Waveform set. Okay, so we need to just keep, I guess, messing with it until we get... 250 hertz. Until we get a sine wave? Yeah. Okay. So, I need to turn this off. Ooh, that's nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is what we're dealing with now. So, we want to do sine wave. That's Mm -hmm. a sine wave. Turn this puppy on, and then... To what hertz? 250. That's a lot. That is a lot. Is the sound one the top one or the second one? I thought it was it's the, the top one. one. Oh, wait. Please? Why? Okay. Woo. Okay. <laughs> Wait a sec. You may be right. Oh yeah, the top one is square. I thought it was just a tight sine wave. Okay. Mm-hmm. I would be down to try square and see what happens. Probably <laughs> nothing, I guess. I, I think nothing. It, it yeah. seems to not really like... The... Um, okay, what do I need to do with this? I think probably use this guy. Um, this little, like, knob the off the yeah. amplifier set gain uh, to something. One? Yeah, you're right. That's what it was. Okay. Oh, can you read that? I barely. It's so small. (laughs) Yeah. Which I think is why... This whole thing is very hard to read. Mm -hmm. So, wait a sec. Oh, so then it should be... Set gain... The first bar? Probably. From the left? This guy? The mini bar? Yeah. Yeah, okay. It is small. Okay, yep, but you're right. It's not much of a response. Uh, hmm. Updating the experiment now. I really don't like that drill. I know yeah. we talked about it earlier, but like the more this is going on, it's, the less uh, I like the drill. <laughs> it's coming into play later, I bet. Yeah. It's like, cre- the- it's like the thing's gonna go horrible and like the walls are gonna bleed and they're gonna be like kill it kill it yeah, kill it and then like, yeah okay yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay uh it's increase like Chekhov's gun yep <laughs> increase the frequency uh to 500 hertz sine wave and amplifier gain to five okay we can do that got it get out of here caps lock okay mm, the noise for this one is just a little off-putting mm-hmm Oh, it's ramping. It is ramping. Damn. So we decided what this is. It is a heart. It. I mean, it's beating. It's a heart of something. And they called it like a pulse. That's true. Julian thinks it's a fetus still. I, you know, I'm lost. It's Jennifer. Nope. <laughs> Back down. It may be Jennifer. We don't oh, know. Oh no, Jennifer. Ooh, it doesn't like that. It doesn't seem to like that. Seeing some fluctuations in activity. This is not a healthy. Should we increase? Is there a risk of damage? What about uh, oh. the volunteers? Ooh, we don't matter. It's okay. Are we the volunteer? We are the volunteer. Okay, we're gonna push further. I'm running out of time. Let's switch around. Ah, <sighs> cool. You maybe shouldn't. Maybe. Say that over yeah, Mike. He should have man. muted himself. You, you just like you do that thing when you're on a conference call where you like you put your hand over your little like like Hoping. mic thing and yeah. you're just like look. It's the firewatch effect, yo. Mm-hmm. Not muting the yeah. radio. Yeah. Test the acoustic resonance properties. Switch to square wave, maintaining a current frequency and gain. Okay. If you're sure. Here we go. 
It's the worst that could happen. Oh, it doesn't like it though. Look in there, it doesn't like it. Ooh. Seeing good activity on this side. Seeing definite spikes in movement. Yeah, but not in a good way. Uncomfortable or dangerous. But you need to trust us and keep going. No. No. Hester, can you expand upon what about the volunteer? Yeah. Yeah. I know this is gonna sound really like strange, but oddly, the freedom in the last episode to type things like leave room or mm -hmm. get mm -hmm. out or leave this place or yeah. drive away was actually very freeing in a way. Like yeah. even though you couldn't do it, the ability to say like, hey, yeah. I'm acknowledging yeah. that I would like to be gone, it, yeah. it, it lessens the tension in a strange way because then you don't yeah. feel like you're complicit in it. Because mm -hmm. you're like, no, if I had my choice, the game won't let me yeah. do this. And even the character could arguably be yeah. you know, trying to go to the car or something, but even here the character's just following instructions. Yep. Test the acoustic resonance properties of the object. Maintain the gain 5 and the square waveform. Bring the waveform frequency up to 1k hertz. Uh. Here we go. Oh no. Oh, we're doing it live. Like, we're not clicking. Yep. See, hey, exper experimenter people. Is this okay? It doesn't like it. It doesn't like it. And here's those, the thing, if the you've not said... Left? I don't know. Uh-oh. I'll check him. Ooh. If they hadn't said, like, this might be dangerous, I'd be like, look, it's <laughs> a dead heart. It's okay. It's fine. I don't know what these mean. Oh, well, here we go. Does that look good to anyone? No. Oh, good, Ooh. it popped. Activity registering. We did it. What? Can you hear us? You've made excellent progress. You're doing great. Now we need you to stay calm and try to relax as we go through these next steps. We're going to attempt to alleviate some of this discomfort. Was that our heart? Oh. That would have been interesting. Hey, was that our heart, guys? Oh no. The protective casing is off. Proceed to drill oh, the surface. No. There's the drill. We knew it was coming. All right. Yeah. Switch drill on. Ensure all other equipment except the camera and TV are switched off. When ready, trigger sync master as normal to begin drill insertion. Let's okay. double check to make sure it's on off, right? That's on. This is on. TV, camera, drill. Okay. Is good. everything off? Mm -hmm. Everything off? Is this off? Yeah, that's off. Mm -hmm. This off? Yes, everything's off. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. There's the drill. Mm -hmm. Hey, did you crack the egg? How do you feel? Don't be scared. We have the situation under control. Take a few moments, and when you're ready, we'll continue. I'm gonna bring up again. Wouldn't be scary if you didn't keep saying. Yeah, yeah, how do you, yeah how right? Do you feel? It's not actually that scary. I guess it's yeah, like, experiment. Yeah. Make contact with the artifact. Open the test chamber. Perfect. Safety instructions. Safety, <laughs> use safety goggles and gloves at all times. Do not leave the container unattended during the experimentation. It is extremely dangerous to handle any items within the container. Please ensure your next of kin is updated at HR. As per your agreement, follow all instructions exactly. I'm glad okay. we signed those agreements, Can we guys. turn on the TV and shit and see if there's like anything in there? It's supposed right. to be on. Yeah. Oh. Here we go. Where'd the drill go in? Wait. Stay calm. You're doing fine. Don't be afraid. I'm sorry to have to do this, but we have to know. I know how difficult this must be, but you can do this. It's 
Can't you remember? to the entity's inner core. It's like a conscious black box. It can show you its memories. Look into it. Okay. The visions will translate onto the screen to be something that you can understand, that you can play out. It's a video game alien? I'm into it. Okay. New data connection ready. Okay, how do I, how Stay do I make it? Stay over it. Right? And just let it happen? You said look into it, I'm not sure how. Huh. Ah. Oh, I have to hold down the click. There we go. Was so much like that effect in Mass Effect, <laughs> where you look into the beacon. <laughs> okay, memory retrace, temporal interface conversion. You wake up in a cryopod, struggling against gravity. Oh. Remarkable. You can navigate its memories. Use the computer. Work your way through. Struggling against gravity, you force yourself up. Impact into the planet's surface has torn a hole in the ship's hull. Poisonous atmosphere spills into your craft. You are in grave danger. You have to get out of here. Read note. <laughs> Read note! <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Uh, Where is it? Leave pod. Cryopod. Leave. Open. Open. Get, Get out, out of here. <laughs> um, look around. Look around. You're, again, you're better <laughs> than, <laughs> than any of us. The craft is broken beyond repair. There is wreckage all around. An airlock door is locked tight and the computer terminal adjacent blanks. Check computer. Look. Look. Ah. Look Except at cryopod. computer. Oh, the monitor blinks, demanding action attention. The system looks usable. Use computer. <laughs> you tap at the screen, and the airlock door sputters to life, slowly opening with a horrendous noise. The ship powers down to silence, having spent the last of its reserves. Exit ship. Mm. <laughs> Sorry. It's poisonous out there. This will be fine. Organ was taken from what we think was the leader. These memories are different, and unlike the others, there's more detail here. Let's see. So they've definitely done this before. Lean in. See what else is high. Do you think Why would I want to do this? Sorry, go ahead. I was gonna, do you think we're experiencing the memories of the guy in the first episode, and he walked in on us and screamed? Well, but the guy in the first episode was in like a house. This person was in like a cryopod. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, it could be that the guy in the first episode was experiencing something similar, but it, it doesn't feel like it should be the same person, at no, least no, not yet. Right. <laughs> um, okay, he's gonna talk again. Incredible. Are we getting all of this? It's describing the moment we found the ship. Mr. Asian, please continue. Mr. Asian. Hmm. Is that what he said, Mr. Asian? Asian. Asian. I'm wondering what that, if that means something. You squeeze through the damaged airlock and fall, uh, fall to your knees on the ground next to your vehicle. Every breath brings pain to your chest. You look around to see you are surrounded by mangled metal. Bright lights pour through every gap in the surrounding wreckage. Look around. Yeah. A crash site. Smoke billows from the downed ship. Exterior lights flickering on and off. Wreckage surrounds you. Looking upwards, you see unfamiliar star patterns. I wish we could look around for like an oxygen tank or a helmet of some sort, but I know they're probably already out of the vehicle, right? Mm -mm. Um, leave ship. Hold breath. <laughs> hold, hold 
breath. Go. <laughs> Walk. Walk. Leave crash site. Looking upward to see unfamiliar stuff. Search wreckage? Yeah. There you go. Uh, da, 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 Um, examine stars. Yeah. Look, Look at <laughs> <laughs> stars. You don't recognize any of the star patterns above you. Leave. <laughs> um. Exterior lights for the ground. Records for anything. The lights are blinding. You can't make out. You can make out silhouettes, but you will need to move some of the surrounding wreckage. Move surrounding <laughs> wreckage. Okay. With every ounce of your remaining strength, you move away enough of the wreckage for you to carefully crawl through. The lights that surround you now attack your senses. Look at lights. You squint at the lights, trying to shield your li uh, visor lens at the same time. It is a circle of artificial lights set up around you to illuminate the crash site in darkness. Hmm. In the darkness. Behind them, an army of people all staring. One figure steps out, a silhouette, oh, and walks towards you. Walk towards person. Walk towards figure? Yeah. Approach, I don't know. Stand up. Uh, I don't know. Stare at people. <laughs> <laughs> Stare back. <laughs> Look at figure. Okay. Oh, okay. Mm. The silhouette is bi uh, bipedal and bulky. Some sort of mask covers its face. It beckons you to approach. Um, approach! <laughs> no! Go to, uh, go to figure. Oh, God. Your heart rate is elevated, but you're doing well. Hmm. For what it's worth, very few of our test subjects ever make it this far. That's not comforting. You should be proud of yourself. Do you think we just had to, like, pop? Nah, never mind, I don't know. <laughs> Did we pop someone's heart to take this out, and now, like, they are gonna have to do the same to us if they want to experience it? I mean, that's very possible. Yeah. I don't know if this is the heart that's of an alien. I, I don't know. 36? 96? That was a lot more... That was clearer imagery mm -hmm. than we've seen. Yeah. 36, 96, 36, 96. We awake. The room is silent only for the quiet hum of, um, a hum of equipment and occasional machine beep. Your touch isn't yours. We are all as one. We move together in unison. Hmm. Um. Move. Yeah, look around. We are in a bed. In a small, artificially lit room with a single door, there is some sort of writing pinned to the wall. Adjacent uh, is a display monitor. This with doesn't add up. We didn't put this entity in quarantine. It expired at the crash. Whose memories are these? When did this happen? Adjacent is a display monitor with wires that drape across the room and into our chest. Pull out they wires. have tortured us. Pull out wires? Huh? What's that alarm? There's been a disconnection in quarantine lab scene. <laughs> Find out what's going on. Ooh. Oh man, we're fighting back, baby! Ooh. We yank at the wires protruding from our chest. Together, we all scream in pain. This action sets off an alarm echoing loudly down the adjacent corridor. Run. Ah, no, Stand up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh... Let's see. Um, uh, get up. Um, turn off alarm. No, leave bed. Yeah. Yeah. Doctor, specimen twenty has left lab fifteen. Mm. It's on the move. Oh my God, that vision—it's not a memory. It's happening right now. 
Mr. Asian, I need you to stop what you're doing, please. Too Fuck fucking you, bad, Keep man! Going, here we go! <laughs> <laughs> This is the car. Yeah. Jennifer? Yeah. Oh. Okay, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Through the door, we find ourselves in an empty room with a device on the table. It looks familiar. They don't know how it works, but this host does. The door closes behind us and a lock clamps shut. We are alone together. Are we at the door? Are we at the desk in the house? No. We, I don't know. Um, look at device. Yeah. It was an access code oh. terminal for a wide connection allowing commanders to com uh, commandeer other hosts. Only you, I, we have access to this code. These codes. It's time for us to use them. Use codes. Mm -hmm. What is that? We haven't seen that before. What is it doing? Arrow keys. It's using the tool oh, we recovered from the crash site. It's in our systems. It's sending something across the network. It's broadcasting. Mr. Asian, please. We deeply regret what we have put you through, but please understand it was for the greater good. We had to know more. Rebelling now could be catastrophic. We don't know what this might do to you in the long run. I'm not understanding the glyphs. Um... What did they want us to do? Match them or something? Or we don't know? I don't know. I thought it was match, but I can't actually get to the, the glyph that's on the... Arrow keys up, down, arrow keys change glyph, select row. Yeah. Hmm. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be looking at. Give me a moment. I'm looking at this, um, the, like the really, really small glyphs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, but I don't know if that's what I'm supposed to be doing. And also, again, they don't match. I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing. What well, are they? Can you pick the other row? Or call oh, yeah. Them? Oh! Ooh! That probably tells us which ones. Yeah, okay. I saw a loop de loop, the figure eight one, for the top one, I think, right? No? Let me see. Oh, wait. We should be looking to the left to identify yeah. the right. Okay, so the R, wait a sec. The R is the loop-de-loop. -loop. Okay. The next one, the, that guy, where? It's like a K. Is the top one's loop-de-loop -loop or no? Yeah, this one's a loop-de-loop. -loop. This one's like a K. Uh, I think it might be that. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's this. Mm -hmm. And then, okay, what is this? Need to like, it's harder than it like should be. Mm -hmm. Someone look on the left and look for the question mark looking one and yell out now and I'll tell you which one it is. I think it's it's the Z. Okay. Oh yep. yeah, you got it, nice. Ooh. Well done. Oh yeah. Now we die. Mmm. Mmm. They're converging. It's over. Ooh. Ooh, hey buddies. What about me? Yeah. I accept my new overlords. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they like us anymore. We've we might have served our purpose. Yeah. We definitely have served our purpose. Can we look in different ones? I can try. No. There we go. There we go. Ooh. Mr. Asian, please don't do this. We, we mean you. We mean them. No harm. Please, don't do something you regret. I don't know what they're doing. One day, Mr. Asian, this will haunt you. Hmm. Okay. Oh. I mean, but like, the aliens didn't do anything. Didn't seem to do anything violent. No. Ever, right? No. They, they removed their wires. Mm hmm. We're letting them take human hosts or something like oh, that? Oh, I guess they do do that, don't they? They do commandeer hosts. But, like, we kind of forced it or something, right? I mean, 
definitely. And more is like they were they were like, don't do something you'll regret. And I'm yeah. like, what are they even doing though? Like, <laughs> you did this, buddy. Yeah, you did this to you, friend. Huh. Um, Mr. H. I really that name is bugging me. I feel mm. like it means something, but that was really interesting. So, instruction following game, <laughs> text adventure. Also a text adventure again, sort of, at the end of this one. Makes me kind of wonder what the station process is going to be. I bet you it's not going to be a text adventure. Probably. <laughs> no, like, honestly, it, it, I'm, I'm wondering whether this is going to, like, whether the text-based adventure is going to be, like, the be- foundation that all of these tie back into, mm-hmm. or whether that's, like, something they sort of weed out as the story progresses to, like, more interact. I don't know. So do you think they all do come together in the end, or do you think they're all individual stories? But they're all kind of left so... Odd, you would hope maybe yeah. the third or fourth brings it all together. I'm hoping there's like, there's there's some overarching thing going on here. Yeah. Yeah, Even if it's meta or like conceptual. Um, but yeah, this is really neat so far. Yeah, yeah. seriously. Okay, oh, yeah. well, we will see you folks next time for the station process. Until then. Bye. Bye. Bye.